everyone, Ms. Patsy here at Castile Innovation Lab. Today we will be studying the fourth grade science book, Soils, Rocks, and Landforms, Investigation 3, Mapping Earth's Surface, Part 1, Making a Topographic Map. Question, how can we represent the different elevations of landforms? Let's find out. Today we will be studying and making a topographical map. A map is a picture of Earth's surface, but since maps are drawn on paper, it's difficult to show that the Earth's surface isn't flat. This is a topographical map of Mount Shasta. The word topography comes from the Greek words topos, meaning place, and graphia, meaning a description of. At first, a topographical map looks like a bunch of squiggly lines. These are called contour lines, and they are usually brown. Each contour line represents a specific elevation measured in feet or meters above sea level. Elevation is the vertical distance of a landform. When we go up a mountain, the elevation increases, and when we go down the mountain, the elevation decreases. Some of the contour lines are thicker and have numbers printed on them. These are called index contours. You can see the number 12,600 next to Volum Glacier. The numbers tell the elevation of that contour line. Each contour line represents a change in elevation. On this map, each contour line represents a 40-foot increase or decrease in elevation. So the contour interval is 40 feet. The colors used on this map also represent what can be found if we visited Mount Shasta. The green on the map represents forest, brush, and orchards. The blue represents water in the form of lakes, streams, rivers, springs, marshes, and glaciers. The red lines are highways or boundaries. It's hard to tell from this far, but there are some red lines. White areas represent an absence of vegetation, prairies, meadows, tundra, and desert. Brown is for contour lines, lava flows, and land features. Black is used for man-made structures and place names. So you can see it says Mount Shasta, natural landmark. Our focus question for today is, how can we represent the different elevations of landforms? Here I have a model of Mount Shasta. Notice how my model has stair steps. The real Mount Shasta doesn't have stair steps like this. The stair steps are there to show you the change in elevation at different intervals. You will notice that each contour is 500 feet more in elevation than the contour below it and 500 feet less in elevation than the contour above it. That means that the contour interval of our model mountain is 500 feet. The word interval is from the Latin word meaning the space between. If we view our model mountain from above, we can see how it resembles a topographical map. Now let's draw our own topographical map by using our mountain model. First, I'm going to take my sheet of paper titled Mountain Map, which is Teacher Master number 14. And I'm going to line up my first model piece with the hole over the circle on my paper. And line up the notch with the line titled B. And then I'm going to trace around it
And there we have our first contour line. And we're going to continue this with each layer of our mountain map. Line up the circle and the notch with the line marked B, and then trace. And here we have our topographical map of Mount Shasta. Can you tell by looking at the model which side of the mountain is steeper? I think it's this side with the notches because the trail goes straight up the side of the mountain. And now you can see it on our topographical map. Remember how we lined the notches with the B? And see how close the lines are on this side as opposed to on this side. That tells us that this side of the mountain is much steeper than say this side of the mountain. Let's go over our vocabulary words for this investigation. Topography. Topography comes from the Greek word topos for place and graphia for description of. Topography describes the physical features of an area of land. A topographical map is a type of map that shows detailed representation of the features and elevation of an area. Elevation, the vertical distance of a landform. Contour lines, lines on a topographical map representing a specific elevation measured in feet or meters above sea level. Index contours, contour lines that are thicker and have numbers printed on them to designate the elevation at that contour line. Contour interval, the change in elevation between each contour line. Interval, interval comes from the Latin word intervallum, meaning the space between. So the contour interval is the space in between each contour line. And that is all for today. I hope you enjoyed our investigation on topographical maps. Until next time, have a great day.